Hi, my love, beautiful souls and mystic worlds of love and love and I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Collect right now for spring. We're going to do a quick energy read, okay, guys? Quick energy read. I'm hearing you're taking down anyone that gets in your way of healing, evolving, and ascending, okay? You're taking anyone down that gets in your way of healing, evolving, and ascending. Anyone that gets in your way, you're taking them down. Coming in between you and your family, your job, your career, your healing, whatever it is, okay? You're taking them down. Spiritually. I'm hearing spiritually you're taking them down, okay? Spiritually. What goes around comes around. Okay, they come in against you, attacking against you. Um, then you're gonna you're gonna pray, you're gonna ask for karma, you're gonna bring justice, okay? Just gonna come for them. If they're coming against you, they're manipulating, they're doing black magic, it's gonna come back on them. That's why this card came out. What goes around comes around. If they're gonna treat you with disrespect, treat you rude, and try to stop you from healing, growing, evolving, ascending then they're going to have some troubles. They're going to have some problems. They're in slumber. Deep, deep slumber. You're no longer in deep slumber. You have awakened. And now you want to heal. And you're not going to let anyone come in between anything you're doing now. At all. So what I'm hearing with this is like when uh, taking down like you're not being hateful and revengeful and retaliating, okay? You're not doing that. You're the opposite of doing that, okay? You are exposing the truth, telling your story, manifesting, praying, and asking God to handle the situation for you spiritually. And your ancestors and spirit guides are helping as well. It's because you bossed up. You bossed up. Okay, what else going on here? What's going on? You could have a karmic child. You could be a karmic child. This could be an ex too. Trying to stop you, block you. Came, I'm sorry. Okay, so you take them all down. So the, there could be a karmic child and ex that's involved in this. Okay, that's trying to stop stopping you from healing, growing, evolving, ascending. Okay, they they're doing something to trying to keep you from evolving. You you could have a child with your ex. Okay, and your child could be karmic. Okay, causing a lot of problems in your life right now. Okay, wow, that's why. Okay, yeah, so. Causing a lot of problems in your life. Interference, acting out. Okay, there could be a karmic child acting out. Okay, it's harder with this karmic child acting out, but. You, I, I'm hearing you may have to have this karmic child move out or kick out, get be kicked out because the fact that if they're causing you to not be able to heal, grow, evolve, and ascend and they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing because I, I heard like somebody could have a karmic child that could like be breaking the law getting into like a lot of trouble and it's just causing a lot more problems so you may be thinking about kicking this child out this child may have a lot a lot of problems and it comes from the ex it comes from the baby dad or baby mom family there's a broken home What's going on? They thought you were not figuring it out what they did to you behind closed doors, but you did. And you won't let them get away with it. Okay, you're not gonna let them get away with it. Found this out. Okay, you know what they're doing. This karmic child could be stealing too. This karmic child could be causing problems with your with your relationships as well. Coming between your relationships. This karmic child needs like a um, therapist, psychiatrist, wannabes. X 
acting out. You guys, I am also hearing this karmic child can be an adult child too, okay? A karmic child is somebody that's low toxic energy, okay? That is fearful, hateful, vengeful, retaliation, getting in trouble, stealing, lying, manipulating, acting out, throwing things, breaking things, okay? Um, but this can be as an adult as well. Because I just, I did hear an adult child trying to manipulate the waist. So that could be why you may kick this person out too. So it may not even be a teenager. It could be an adult child. They're going to be like a 20, 24 year old that's living at home still. And you're kicking this child out, okay? Because you, they're they're blocking you. They're causing problems in, in, in your healing journey. And sometimes our kids don't go with us on a journey, okay? Sometimes our kids don't go with us on a journey. Once they're over 18... It's time for them to, you know, find their own ways, find their own identity. Maybe you have to put your foot down. Maybe that's where it's coming from too. Especially if they're they're blocking you from growing, evolving, healing, and doing what you want to do, living your best life. That you need to say, hey, you're an adult now. You're always going to be my child. I always will love you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to wish best for you. But you can't be living here anymore because it's it's hurting me. It's hurting my my relationship. It's hurting my career. It's hurting my healing. And it's time for you to, you know, fly like a little bird. It's time for you to grow up, live your own life, figure out your own things because it's, it's holding me back from where I, I'm supposed to be going. Same thing as if you, if it's your parents, because sometimes my mom, I had to let go of my mom as in like, you know, talking to her every once in a while. I actually had to block my mom for a while before she passed too, because she was so karmic. I had a karmic mother, I have a karmic father too, and there's, there were, my mother was my mom, my mom was trying to block me from growing and healing. She would question me and doubt me and stuff like that. And she would cause drama with everything. So I had to, I had to literally block her. You know, I wish I didn't have to block her because she was dying from cancer and stuff. But there's a time and place in spirit said you need to block her because you're going to say something she's going to regret. You're gonna, she's going to say something you're going to, she's going to regret. So you just need to block the energy right now and live your life. Let her live her life for a bit. You know, and then I had blocked her and then like, you know, I was helping her a little bit, but I wasn't allowing her my life like I used to. And this may not, you, you may not be like, if this is your child, you may not be taking him down like that. Okay. This is not like, this is you just saying, Hey, you got to go. You got to go. I can't do this anymore. I, I can't have you mooching off me. I can't have you stealing from me. I can't have you lying. I can't have you doing this stuff in my home anymore. I can't have you manipulating me, you know. But everyone else that is not your family, not your blood, you're taking these motherfuckers down. You're exposing their laundry, their dirty laundry. You're exposing the truth. Oil gas spill. Some kind of fire. Oil gas spill. Batman. Okay, so we have the ex and we also have karmic lover. So there could have been a karmic lover too. Your ex could have been a karmic lover coming out here. I'm gonna take this karmic lover down. You're stepping up your game. You're not letting people, okay, so you're not going to let people, okay, that's why, okay, so you're not going to let people walk all over you anymore. You're, you're going to stand your ground, stand up, and say what needs to be said. That's how you're taking people down. In the past, you may have been somebody that was, you know, people-pleasing, afraid to stand your ground, af afraid to say something, your throat chakra was blocked, you weren't speaking your truth, and, like, you allowed things to happen. Now, you're not allowing things to happen anymore. You're creating boundaries with these people. That's how you're taking them down because you're creating boundaries and you're protecting yourself from them, from their energies, from them attacking you. Somebody's wanted dead or alive. And you are doing a karmic psychic narcissist, okay? And God is helping you, okay? That's how you're taking him down. God's taking him down, okay? You and God are taking him down. 
God is stepping in and saying, uh uh, nope, nope. Don't touch my starseed, don't touch my light worker, don't touch my anointed one, don't touch my chosen one, my healer. Nope. No more siphoning from you, okay? They can't siphon from you anymore. Okay, somebody could be blogging, writing, tell all st Okay, I'm, I'm hearing somebody writing a book, okay? And you're exposing everyone that has done you dirty or involved. You could be in a, like a psychic investigator or a psychic or a journal investigator or work with a journal investigator. Some of us, a detective too. Psychic detective. Anyone betrayed you. Anyone that caused you burdens. You're getting what you need to expose them to, okay? You're getting what the, the information, the facts, okay? The evidence, the proof to expose them. So you're doing your own research, okay? You're finding your own evidence. That's why I heard like psychic investigator, okay? So you're going out and doing the work. You're going to have a wish fulfillment. Happy days to come. Calling judgment on these people. Asking God to call judgment. Justice being balanced out. Okay, things getting balanced out. Okay, so you have some, you have a spiritual, okay, that's two. With you taking him down, you have a high spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm. When I see this justice, I'm seeing Mott, okay? I'm seeing um, Goddess Mott, okay? That's who I'm seeing. You may want to read about her. Light, she's one that if you have, light as a feather, you go to heaven. If your heart is heavy, um, it goes to Anubis and um, goes, eats it and goes to oblivion, you know? Um, you can read more about it, but Mod it was justice, okay? So you have some kind of high-ranking spiritual authority in the spiritual realm to bring justice, okay? In this 3D world, like, only thing you can, like, the thing in the 3D world here, you're praying, you're manifesting, okay? And by you praying and manifesting, you're, it's, it's going into the 5D, okay? And then it comes down, in, or it comes, it is in the 5D and it comes down in the 3D. So then it manifests that they receive their karma, their justice, and whatever is meant for them to happen, like what what goes around comes around, okay? So you have a high spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm. You're enlightened. You're a star seed, happiness, joy, son of God, prophet, a messenger. Libra and Leo. Happy days to come. Law and order. Guys, the truth, justice, balance, and order. See, that's why. Ma, okay, guys, justice, and order. She was a central figure in Egyptian culture and thought, and her principles influenced development. Truth, justice, balance, order, and cosmic order. Regulates the stars, seasons, and actions of people and gods. See, regulates the stars, seasons, and actions of people and gods. Judgment of Osiris, a ceremony where the heart of the deceased was weighed against her feather of truth. The weight of the heart determined whether the deceased would go to the afterlife. Afterlife was heaven, okay? Light as a feather to the afterlife, heaven. And then he heavy is, um, heavy heart. Anubis eats it up, oblivion. 
bringing harmony and balance. Okay. You want to read more about her, okay? Because that's what I'm getting here. Chariot, Cancer. This is a victory movement, travel. This is also a Freya traveling between worlds, okay? You travel in between worlds. So you go from your 3D to 5D. So wait, when you're taking down these motherfuckers that are coming against you, it's in the spiritual realm, okay? It's in your dream state. It's in your meditation. That's how you're taking them down, okay? So get some sleep. Make sure you're sleeping because when you're sleeping, that's when you do a lot of your work, your spiritual work. When you're meditating, that's when you do a lot of your spiritual work, okay? You go in between worlds, travel in between worlds, how you're taking them out, victory. And then again, the chariot is also balanced, white and black, ging ying, good and evil. No more betrayal. Anyone that betrayed you. Diving deep, diving deep. Travel movement, moving on. Wow, we have a lot of major patterns coming up. Major things are happening in your life, okay? Major things, your hierarchy. Okay, with eight of cups and a wands. This is you working really, really hard, okay? Okay, busting your butts, busting your ass to do the right thing. But knowing that, like, there's more to life than meets the eye. Like, you know there's a lot of work to do because we have also the eight of pentacles. There's a lot of work. You're working really, really hard and, like, there's details and you know that it's not just working here when you're awake it's when you're in your dream state in meditation that you're doing a lot of work as well with the high priestess coming out cancer again strong cancer this is your inner knowing the unknown supernatural intuition knowing things that others don't know hermit virgo discovering this is an investigator Looking into things, searching things, doing the research, getting the facts, getting the information. Again, this is you working hard. So if they're coming against your job, your career, they're being exposed. Somebody's a painter. Okay, somebody paints. That's how you heal. Okay, so when you heal, you may meditate and... um. You heal that way. Somebody lives in a big city. Your boss. Aries. Emperor. Leadership. A strong leader. Okay, you're a strong leader. Stand, sitting in your throne. Your service to others. Your blessing. A gift. You're a gift from God. So that's why. That's why you have this high ranking in the spiritual realm. They're trying to throw illusions in your face, okay? They're trying to cause illusion, confusion. But you see past this confusion, you see past this illusion, okay? You were a victim, they betrayed, the right here is betraying you. Stabbing you in the back ten fucking times. Causing you to have problems. But you're following your intuition. Unconditional love here. Your words are very powerful. That's why, too. That's how you're taking them. Your words are very, very powerful. Your mind is very, very powerful. So you got to be careful with how you word things, okay? And say things. Death. Transformation. Endings. Closure. 
some somebody's having an ego death too. You had an ego death. Scorpio, that's there. King of Wands. Spiritual teacher, leader. Tower moment, sudden change. These people are having tower moments in life because they, they, they're they coming against you. Okay? Their life's falling apart because they're coming against you. You're going to protect what's yours. Okay? That's what I'm here to You're going to protect what's yours. You go in predator mode if somebody attacks your kids, your own business. Like, they can't fuck with you. You're over it. Like, you don't put up with it. But you go in meditation. I just keep hearing, yeah, you just... In the past, you may have retaliated, went against, like, you know, fought back eye for an eye. And now it's like, okay, they want to screw with my healing. They want to screw with my evolving, my grow, my growing. I'm going to go meditate. I'm going to go do what I need to do. And I'm going to talk to God and ask God to handle the situation. I'm going to use my words in a positive way. I'm going to change my mind and think positive. And allow God to handle the situation. And God shows you the way. And a lot of times, is what I'm hearing too, is by us taking people down, it's by us take, speaking truth. Okay? Expression. Living our truth. Living our life to the fullest as well. Giving our testimony. They can't sleep at night. They have anxiety. Crying. Yeah, your truth. There's mine again. Libra, truth. Clarity. Manifesting. Let's see what else we got here. What else is going on here? You're using your voice, that's why. You're using your voice. There's fire inside you. You're seeing things, third eye. Some of these people are very embarrassed because now, you know, there's their secrets and you're exposing them. And now, like, other people know. You have assistance from your spirit guides. You're taking care of yourself. Cleaning your energy, clearing out your energy. Removing any toxic energy as well. You're rebuking all energy, too. All evil negative energy. Yep, justice, balance, karma again. You're walking karma. <laughs> that's how, that's how you're taking on your walking karma. Anyone comes against you, it, they're, they're going down. Anyone. You're a messenger. You're God. Communication. Mercury. There's a truth again. Okay? They want to keep you in some kind of confusion. Confuse you. You're healing your inner child. See, and you're doing shadow work too. Neptune came out. Neptune. And you're an alchemist. Transmuting negative energy into positive energy. You're killing these demons. You're slaying these demons. Removing these demons from your life and from other people. You take a bad situation and bring it into a positive situation. 
and you can't have any of this negative energy around like that. Let's see who some of these people are. Could be a brother. Okay, there could have been a brother that always thinks he's right. Okay. We have court case and Miranda Wright, so he could be going to jail. He may be calling this person in. Not gonna put up with this shit no more. Moon. Subconscious. Secrets. Illusion. This brother could be an illusion. Keeping a lot of secrets. Blocking you. Someone from school. They're having trouble sleeping at night. Telling lies. Son, Leo. Again. Their lies being revealed too. Every time they tell a lie, then somebody tells them a lie. Okay? Every time someone tells them a lie, then someone tells... Every time they tell a lie, then somebody tells them a lie. They're also taking these secret societies down. Okay? Because these secret societies are the ones that are trying to stop you, block you from healing, growing, evolving. And so you're taking them down too. You're exposing them. Putting them on blast on social media. Mercury, communication, technology. Mercury again. Communication. Message. And you're like, it's not worth it. Not worth it. It's not worth your time. And we have Venus, goddess of love, Virgo. I meant, tar sorry, Taurus and Libra. Libra came again. Oh, you're in trouble. Uh, and I got a couple of these and I'm going to close out. Okay, well, spirit. Uh. Okay, so by you surrendering to and like doing what you need to do, it's causing tower moments in their life, okay? It's literally ruining their life and destroying it. And it's happening faster. <laughs> oh, because you forgive them. You've forgiven them as well. By you forgiving them. It's, it's causing them to go a little bit crazy. I wonder what the hell. What the hell. Money will be depositing in your account. In the next few days. You're protecting your energy. From these leeches. Three of wands. Okay. Somebody's walking out of hermit. Somebody's getting out. See. You're now doing things that you need to do. You're not sitting behind closed doors. Coming out of hermit. Getting out. Living your life to the fullest. You getting rid of third party. You got rid of third party. This one for your voice is needed. You are beautiful the way you are. Just be you. They're being investigated. 
spiritually investigated and physically investigated, Spirit said. You created boundaries. Those fell on the floor, you guys. On the ground. Someone's gonna get a new car. Okay, someone's gonna get a new car that came out. You've been manifesting a new car. Ignore negative people. You go for walks. Meditate. Their masks are coming off. You're giving birth to your dreams. You're spending time at your altar. You know they're doing black magic. You're able to protect yourself from this black magic now. You're worth a million. We have Divine Masculine Energy coming out. Always positive. They're suffering in silent. You're not. Because you're living your best life. Living to the fullest. Psychic Vampire. This person will be secretly gay. And you are High Priestess. Cops coming for their assy. There's something you have on them. And spiritual ascension awakening. You started, you started eating better. DNA upgrades. Activations. So by you eating better too. Drinking more water. You're able to stay more balanced. Connect with spirit. So this moon coming out too, the secrets here and the intuition is some of the things that like you don't remember doing in, in the 5D. And like I said, like how you're taking these people down, you're doing a lot of taking this down in the spiritual realm, okay? You're doing a lot of meditation, dream state um, in the 5D, taking these people down. And like some of the things you won't remember, but you have a knowing, a feeling. And then there could be like a flashback, a deja vu or a vision. Uh, or some kind of message download that you hear later on. But a lot of it you may not remember because you're doing a lot of your dreams. That you guys, we when we when we go to sleep, our body shuts down, but our conscious mind does not. And we are multidimensional beings and we're traveling, okay? And we're meeting with our ancestors, we're meeting with our spirit guides, we're meeting with sudden beings, we're meeting with angelic angelic beings, okay? We're doing a lot of work. And but there's it's overload there's a lot going on and you don't remember everything okay a lot of people don't realize that that's why we really really need sleep when you have lack of sleep it's really really hard for you to do your work when you're um, in a dream state and so some people need a lot more sleep because that's when you do a lot of your work okay and then you can be a little bit tired the next day and then you gain a lot some people get tired some people get a lot of energy but when i said that you know you're taking down everybody that's blocking you from your healing growing all that stuff it's not about you like going to kill them or you're going to beat them up or anything like that it's not like that it's spiritually okay and god's helping you and your angels and ancestors are helping you and again a lot of it is prayer and meditation and um words too how you use your words as well and when you're rebuking demons okay i rebuke demons from the people, you know, you said the name and stuff like that. And again, like, it's subconscious, so you don't remember every single detail. Just know that you are. Know that you are taking these people down. Okay? You are. You may not see it, but you are. It's happening. It starts out in the 5D, and it triggers down into the, trickles down into the 3D, okay? Our authority in the spiritual realm is different here in the earth realm, okay? And that's why I said, like, you're very, you're hierarchy, uh, have a spirit, high spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm, but it could be different here. You may not be high ranking um, here in the earth realm. Like, you may not be a trillionaire or a billionaire, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, here in the 3D right now, but in the spiritual realm, you're up there, okay? You're up there, high ranking, 
way up there. Like, I'm getting, like, uh, energy of our, our, okay, see, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Metatron, a scriber, messenger, right next to Source Creator God. That's where you are. You're right next to Source Creator God. And you, you bring those messages from God, Source Creator, to here and deliver those messages and bring truth. Just like Archangel, or Archangel Metatron and also Enoch, Enoch as well. You could be a descendant of Enoch. And you when when you're in your dream state, you're connected, you're you're connected right to Archangel Metatron. So you could be a scribe or two, okay? You write things down. I'm all okay, so when I hear scribe or two, I'm hearing um Oh my god, what's his name? What's God? Toth. Toth. Okay, Metatron, Enoch, Toth, Scriber, writing things down. So that's one reason you have to be very careful too when you're a writer, what you write, it, it manifests into this, the 3D world. Okay, I'm going to close this out, you guys. I'm tired. I'm just going to grab these. Thank you. Ladybug, good luck. You are, a, you are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good. It's hard to see. Feel good about being being a loving and colorful you. You you bless the world with colorful and good luck. You bless the world too. Okay. Penguin authenticity. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from other expectations. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Let's cut these. You are stronger than the enemies. Open your heart and listen. Your soul tribe and spirit guides are teaching you and guiding you. So your spirit, your spirit guides and your uh, ancestors are teaching you and your soul tribe, okay? They're teaching you and they're showing you the way, what you need to do, what moves you need to make, okay? What moves not to make, okay? It's about what moves to make and what moves not to make. God is moving mountains for you. Be strong. You're protected and highly loved. Let's get one more. Ignore the evil negativity and then... See, you're fasting and praying. Do what you love to do. You love speaking truth. You're a truth seeker. You bring truth. You expose it. You expose You expose, expose the lies. Okay, that's what you do. You expose lies. You expose secrets. You sp expose the enemies. And don't give up on that. Don't stop. They want to make you feel like you, you can't do it or you're not supposed to do it, but don't, okay? Confirmation right there. Ten ten. Ten ten is alignment. New beginnings. Your angels are working hard to protect you from harm. Everything will be okay. Rap accelerating. So it's your angels helping too. Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini. Taurus and number five, I think. Oh no, sorry. Six. Balance. Family. Home. I love you guys. Love, peace, love, you. Namaste.